lesson. If anybody make noise, I will send to principal sir. Okay? Mind it. Look at the board. Start doing one minute meditation. Just close your eyes. When you enter the class, if students are making a lot of noise, simply instruct them to meditate. This one minute meditation may change the environment of the classroom. I used to follow this method. This method works a lot. Clearly, this teacher is favoring a few students, but it is incorrect. As teachers, we should prioritize every student. This behavior is called partiality which students find unfavorable. In the eyes of your teacher, all students are equal. Here, you can observe that the teacher approaches each and every student in the classroom to capture their attention. This is an excellent approach to classroom management. The teacher should actively engage with the students by moving around the classroom instead of remaining seated and teaching. Ramu. Come here, stand here, control the students, okay? Now I have to eat because I haven't taken my breakfast. Now I want to eat. If I go outside, principal sir will see. So I am going to uh, take here. Please keep quiet, okay? Don't I said, stupid. Look, the teacher is eating in the classroom. But teachers shouldn't eat here because students copy what the teacher does. When a teacher is disciplined, it influences the students to be disciplined as well. A good teacher shows discipline by having breakfast and arriving at school punctually. Ma'am, principal sir is coming. Okay, you study. Stupid. The teacher should avoid sitting casually and giving careless responses to children. Ma'am, he is eating. Don't call me teacher, teacher, madam, madam. What is this? I am correcting papers, you know. Don't call me. Teachers shouldn't grade papers in the classrooms. They should do that at home. When the teacher comes into the classroom, they should focus only on the students and not to do things like talking on the phone or grading papers. If students do something wrong in the classroom, the teacher should encourage them gently to not to do instead of uh, yelling or punishing. Hi madam, breakfast is there. Boss, sorry, chaal baam. A teacher shouldn't have conversation with another teacher in the classroom. Kids might get lower grades in their studies. Teachers come to school for the students, not to chat with other teachers.